Oh, hey, it's Rob. And uh, I've been trying to put this one together for a little while. Uh, last weekend, I went to uh, this thing that we call OmegaCon. OmegaCon is a Slack convention. It, we take over a hotel and we sit around in pajamas and comfortable clothing and play games and you know, drink a little bit, um, just generally have fun. It's, the whole thing is intended to just slack for a weekend. Uh, the past couple years, we haven't been able to go because of uh, you know, COVID. And uh, we were able to get back into it this year uh, with some restrictions. We had a uh, mask restriction in the main parts of the convention. Uh, if we were going to be, you know, in the hallways or in the, you know, the common spaces, you wanted to mask up, you'd be fine in your hotel room or outside. There were some other uh, downsides as well. We had, um, normally there's a road kills bar, which is this year was only had, uh, <laughs> only had homebrew beer and cider, uh, which was really wonderful. And we also have um, Nam Suite, which is uh, sort of a food kitchen and hangout space. And this year, uh, it was not going to be a hangout space. There was still food. Thank you, Angie, and all the great people that did Nam Suite. Um, however, we got to play a bunch of games and try some new things. I got to go a day early, um, just in the circumstances, it made more sense for me to go and be up there the Thursday night before. The Thursday is uh, generally reserved for the people that are going there to set up to make sure that everything is in place. Um, kind of the front end loading, making sure that everything is going to be running smoothly. Uh, I wasn't actually running anything, but um, circumstances made it so that I could come and be there early. And I'm glad that I did because I got to spend some time with people that I really care about. So that was nice. I've been pressed into duty uh, and it's been incredibly stressful. And uh, it, was, it was a much needed time of being able to not be responsible for anyone else, not have to do things. I've been collecting the, I think it's the first season from the Curious Correspondence Club, which is um, a monthly puzzle solving. Uh, you get a, a, a letter in the mail. Now it's a bit more than a letter. It's a, it's a package that's in an envelope and it comes with several different pieces. And each one of these is an episode in a story, but it is a standalone puzzle. It's a standalone piece and it comes with all sorts of pieces that you put together and manipulate and uh, generally it's, it seems like a pretty fun idea. It's, it's from alumni of the mysterious package company, which dearly, dearly loved. Um, we had some problems with, with one this year. Uh, I, we tried two, we tried two of them and, uh, there were some difficulties. Warehouse on the wharf. On the wharf? Wharf. Wharf. Wheel of wheat. I should just put what some popcorn inside my mask and eat it like a full bag. I wonder if that would work. I don't know. Okay. Only one way to find out. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. I think we should try this. Okay. I think you should try this. I should try this? Okay. Because I don't have my mask on all the way. I know you don't. It's right there, hanging out. Hang on in. Hang on in the wind. <laughs> it's like dust in the wind, but mm -hmm. dangled. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. All we are is dangle in the wind. Dingle, dangle. Dingle, dangle. No! <laughs> you got it before I did. <laughs> did I run? Does that work? Um. It smells like dog feet. <laughs> I would say no, unless you are very agile. It, it, is, a, it is a challenge. 
and a mustache does not help. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> An early morning mist rolls over the grassy hill as you crest its peak, while an unmistakable aroma fills your nose. Gasoline, burning coal, and salt linger in the fog that clouds your view. Salt? Salt. Good. What are we recording? Uh, just recording. A, it's like a YouTube video. Oh, cool. So Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi. This is Christopher. He no longer lives in Minnesota. He's down in Texas now. Losers. Yeah. Good He's to see you all. <laughs> oh, how old is Teddy now? Oh ah, my god. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, we're so old. We are so old. Alright. It's the font. It's yeah. the font. It's not me. <laughs> this has to be the harbor, do you think to yourself? It must be around here somewhere. This was written by Canadians. Harbor. Harbor. You approach a solitary tree that shares your view of the harbor below. So, hey people at the Curious Correspondence Club, this is a pain in the butt. No, really. No. This is this is no. This is a pain in the ass. Okay, we are pretending that this box is now closed. It's a little flappy, but that's okay. All right, so these are the warehouses that are the map of the warehouses that are in there. We know which warehouse it's in. Not, uh, not that one. Yeah, not not this one. This is the wharf or the harbor. 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 Uh, and then this is the picture of the loading dock inside that warehouse that we now have warehouse Where warehouse 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 no that's that's swedish oh. or norwegian it's a smidge a smidge yeah turns out the part about putting the uh putting the box together uh you want to do that late you don't want to do that when you start the game because there's a whole bunch of clues and stuff that you need to solve the thing before you get to the actual part of the crate yeah. Yeah. I also got a game called Mind Management and um, got the deluxe version. It was a Kickstarter. Seemed like an interesting idea. Uh, it turned out to be far more complex than what was what we had time and brain space for. I imagine that with several people, this it could be a lot of fun. All right, first uh, first time through mind management. We didn't even get uh, all the way into it. It's it's quite complex. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of pieces to it. There's a lot of um, trying to figure out how the thing works. But I kind of have the idea of how it works. Once we got into the gameplay, the gameplay goes very quick. Um, but there's a lot to try and put together. Uh, to me right now, it seems with two players to be a little unbalanced. Uh, I'll try and figure it out a little bit, but it's... Uh, I understand the kind of the basic mechanics. I think we probably should have watched the Let's Play first before trying to take it on. Because uh, just trying to follow it from the instructions is a lot. So there are... I think there are better ways to go about learning this than opening up the box and trying it for the first time. But, you know... I got it. I figured we'll try it and see what's, what's going on. Granted, we got a lot of napping in. <laughs> I am surprised at how, how tired I was and how tired I have been. Okay, now we're doing pegs and jokers. We're playing a game that won't make Trisha cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like sorry. It's so, kind of like sorry. And it I'm, is kind of like sorry. And I'm losing already. It's very early in the game. Yes, but I'm still losing. So far, but I'm not winning, so... Uh, it's only two of us playing, so... It's, yeah. Uh, it's, so, there's yeah. only two of us playing. I'm losing, but she's not winning. I <laughs> yeah. 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 Trisha just remembered a rule... I remembered a rule! <laughs> ...that screwed me because I would have made a different choice if that rule had been in play when I moved where I went. So, just saying. Just, just saying. I'm the asshole. Yeah. Yeah. The, game, the game has been so far called Rob Sucks, but now it's Trisha's the asshole. So, just, just so we're square on it. It works, it works. 
This is the point at which I was going to be doing a victory dance. How'd that work out for you? You suck. I know. <laughs> I got a new drone. It's an X07 EX07 Ranger. Uh, it's a fairly low cost. I think they call it a, a toy. It's sort of like this this level of you have the toy drones and then you have this level of they're not real good professional drones but they're also not quite as expensive. Uh, this one has a nice camera on it um, so I got it and tried to fly it for the first time with mixed results. Uh, there was fire, there was food, there was company and in general I had a really really good time. Hopefully we'll be able to do it again in the spring. Uh, you know, remains to be seen. We don't know what the world is going to take on, but it is a wonderful place to be. And uh, I want to thank everyone who helped put it on, all the volunteers who put it together, all the people that make the thing go, uh, and Tricia, a wonderful person to, to be there with. Uh, and, you know, a few others. We unfortunately did not get to play mini golf. The Moose Mulligan course is attached to the hotel, but it's usually closed uh, by the time we get there in November. It snowed. Uh, it saved off snowing until Saturday night. I ended up traveling back Sunday went back to the cities, picked up the dogs, and then drove back to Bemidji to Mom's house. As soon as I got back at Mom's, started in. It was, you know, all the, the panic things of, we need to do this, we need to do this, and... Uh, uh. So all that relaxing just kind of went out the window. But I think we're doing okay now. I'm trying to take some time for myself when I can get it, which isn't very often. Uh, but... Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, hopefully I'll be back in the swing next week and maybe trying to fix something. So, see you guys.